Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about science you can recognize in your life that you are already in the fifth dimensional energy. So we are shifting between third and fifth dimension all the time, but for most people in that third dimensional awareness, they're not aware of this shift. So once we become aware of the fifth dimensional energy, most of our awareness about ourselves, about our energy we feel, about how we observe the world and our expression of our energy will completely change because now we understand life in a different way and therefore we start thinking differently, we start acting differently and we start feeling differently. And that's where we can sense the major changes that are happening on that energetic level. And as we all know, when we change the energy, we change how we feel. And eventually we change how our body is expressing that energy and eventually we change the results we experience in our life. That's why the awareness of those changes is so important. So the first sign you can recognize that you're already aware of the fifth dimensional energy is that you've become a student of life. You're not a victim anymore of circumstances. You're not like constantly complaining why things are happening. You've recognized life is offering you lessons. So you would see what you need to learn about yourself. So everything is teaching you something you need to know. And once you start seeing the lessons in the moments you are moving through, you will start learning more about yourself than ever before. And that's where you, you recognize that you are actually a great healer, that you are actually a great mystic, that you are actually a great teacher, that you are actually a great artist, that you are actually whatever you will feel. You know, once we recognize that we are all students here, we may sense that we don't need somebody to save us because the whole purpose of lessons is to find the inner strength to overcome what we are dealing with, right? So the lessons that life is bringing to us are teaching us to empower ourselves, to find the inner wisdom, to connect or in tune back with intuition, with that divine compass, and to in tune ourselves back with the higher selves so we can sense what could be the best things to do in the next few moments or in the near future. So if you're recognizing for yourself that you are more than anything a student of life, you are shifting into that fifth dimensional energy and that's where you are actually learning more than ever before about yourself. And an interesting thing happens, more we are learning about ourselves, more we understand also people around us because we recognize we are all dealing with same emotions, we are all dealing with same mental or similar mental patterns, we are all dealing with overcoming toxic habits, we are all dealing with what we call toxic people which are just people which are hurt, uh, we are all going through it. So. On emotional level, we all experience things similarly. When we experience the lack of energy, we all experience it similarly. So once we understand that process within ourselves, we can understand others. We know how other people feel like and we know what can we bring to maybe to uplift the spirits of others a little bit. So being a student of life is a great realization. If you're there, I'm truly happy for you. The second sign you are in fifth dimensional energy means that your energy body is strengthening and it feels like you're adjusting yourself. You're adjusting your mindset to that new energy. It feels like you're cleansing off uh, those um, limited beliefs 
or limited stories about yourself or certain concepts which you know that are not working anymore for example like certain um, religious ideas or whatever is not resonating with you anymore you're also becoming more aware of the shadow side of you and because of that your energy is strengthening so doesn't matter what is happening outside of us at some point we recognize that the power is within us and if we want to truly ascend onto a greater level of being we need to become more aware of all of ourselves as in the previous video i was talking a little bit about that self-talk the self-image and the self-acceptance how to accept ourselves fully that's what we need to do we need to learn to accept all of ourselves the good parts and the bad parts even though there is no good and bad but that's how we describe it we accept all of ourselves we look at our guilt, at our shame, at our fears, at our frustrations, at our anger, at um, our misery. We look at that and we accept it as part of ourselves. Because once we accept it, we can let go of it, right? We can change it. We can release its tension. It's all a process. And usually people call it a shadow work. And that's where we strengthen our energy because most people are actually hiding this um, negative parts of themselves from others and also from themselves. And that's why this negative energies are constantly controlling them. Once we accept them, we actually release that energy from us. Uh, that's where people start um, forgiving themselves, people start forgiving others, because all they actually want to do is to align all of their energy with the, their higher selves or with the great cosmos, with the great universe, however we want to call it. That's where we experience a strengthened energy and we start adjusting ourselves. If you feel like you are moving through it or you already went through it, you are probably already walking the path of a mission and you are already helping others to evolve, helping others to grow, to expand. Or if you are in between that process and maybe you are going through the dark night of the soul, it means that you are actually waking up and you are dealing with your shadow side which requires some time, some energy and some knowledge so learning more about the shadow work or learning more about dealing with your uh, dark side of you will help you to accept it, to forgive it uh, or to forgive your old self or to forgive certain people in your life and that's what will strengthen your energy. So if you feel like you're already adjusting yourself to the new energy and your energy body is much more strengthened, you, you feel like... Um, you are glowing, it means that you are in fifth dimensional energy. The third sign you're in fifth dimension and dimensional energy is that you've become a great observer. So being an observer means that we stop judging things, we stop criticizing things, even though we still have that critical thinking, which is important because only with critical thinking we can improve uh, the aspects of ourselves which needs improvement or anything on the world we can see here and there we are treating maybe mother nature in an unhealthy way and there that's where we need some critical thinking to recognize okay I could do it better I could do it um, in a healthier way or whatever it is once we become observers we recognize that there's no need to judge the situations because every time I judge, I feel the energy of it. I feel the emotions like I would be judging myself, right? Observer is observing and, and that's where we start to see a bigger picture for like a bigger picture of what is happening on the world a bigger picture of why we are the way we are why our life is the way it is 
And that's where we recognize what kind of changes we could apply or what we need to accept, what we need to forgive or who we need to become, right? If you want to become a new version of yourself, you firstly need to observe yourself to recognize who you are, what you're still clinging on, holding on, what are your anchors which are holding you to the past and what kind of emotions you need to overcome. So only when you start observing yourself, you can overcome yourself and you can heal yourself and you can become the new self, right? So if you sense right now that you have become or you are becoming a great observer in your life, it's a great sign that you are shifting into fifth dimensional energy. The fourth sign is that you are sensing the inner truth whatever people are telling you, whatever I'm telling you, whatever anybody is telling you, any guru or whoever is telling to you, you sense the inner truth. And this is power. This is power because we stop believing people just because they said something. We listen what people are saying to us and then we ask ourselves what is resonating with us. That's where we start following our inner truth and not what people are telling to us. And that's much much easier uh, from that inner truth. It's much easier to decide what is the truth and what is not. So that's where we actually start recognizing a big difference from people which have certain hidden agendas, people which want to control us and people which want the best for us. We ask ourselves what is resonating with us and soon we will find out what is that truth. So if you can sense your inner truth right now, it's a sign that you are plugging yourself or becoming more aware of that fifth dimensional energy. The fifth sign is that same things you were doing before feel completely differently. This one is so amazing because I remember a few years ago when I was like 100% in the sports. I'm coming from freestyle mountain biking. Back at that time, I was really dedicated in that sport. And because of that, I had many bad days on that. You know, sometimes you have a good day when everything is working like... um, the way you wanted and other times you have those bad days where nothing is working the way you wanted. So I was experiencing a lot of those mood shifts and it felt to me like um, uh, like the the sport is controlling how I feel about myself, like my self-worth is is determined by results I'm making and so on. So it was many ups and downs but now when I go back on my bike for example I experience it completely differently it feels like now I'm doing that for for my soul I don't need to prove myself to anything I I'm feeling free I don't care about the good and bad days I just do it because I love to do it and same is with painting same is with filming videos now I just do it because I love to do it. I don't care about um, the results or the approvement from others or what people will say. You know, we start doing maybe same things as before, but it feels completely differently. If you experience that, it means that you are on a new vibrational level, which means that you approach things differently. You value different things. You um, you have wider, widen, <laughs> or how to say, your perspective is wider, and you start experiencing life in a completely new way. So to me, it's really beautiful because it it feels truly liberating. The best word to say is liberating because it truly feels like that not being controlled so much from our environment anymore, but rather just um, sensing what we love to do right at this moment and we do it. So this is powerful. 
this is powerful. And if you're saying it's like, even if you're doing same things as before, they feel completely differently in a more um, liberating way. You experience more freedom while you're doing that. Doesn't matter the results you're receiving, the feedback you're receiving, you're doing that because of yourself, because your heart is calling you to do that. If that's you, you are experiencing this fifth dimensional um, energy shifts and you're more aware of being in that fifth dimensional energy. The sixth and the last sign for today that you are in the fifth dimensional energy is that you are slowly mastering your empathic abilities. So however you sense yourself, maybe being as an empath, maybe you sense the energy of others, maybe you hear voices in your meditations or whatever happens, maybe you see visions uh, for certain projects or for for um, some future events or whatever it is. Often empaths say that uh, the energy of others is affecting on them, which is true. So the senses of empaths are more increased. Therefore, we can sense the energy in the room, we can sense the emotions of others, we can sense the thoughts of others. And if we don't know how to control um, the senses, how to navigate our energy, much of the energy around us may be controlling us, may be affecting on our state of being. And in fifth dimensional energy, we start um, mastering our empathic abilities. We start mastering our senses. And we can only master ourselves if we know ourselves. If we firstly know who we are, if we know what are our abilities, what are our talents, our gifts, and how we are sensing the energy, how we are expressing the energy. And it requires a lot of um, work, a lot of awareness, a lot of time and energy. And because many people are dedicated to that, many people are mastering their empathic abilities. So at the beginning of mastering our empathic abilities, it means that we start um, working on our emotional intelligence. We start working on our emotions and we recognize how we feel when we do something, how we feel when we do something else, how we feel when we're talking with others, how we feel when we're alone. And then we start setting some boundaries to, to see what can help us to stay in a greater alignment more of the time, right? For example, if you feel like um, there's many uh, toxic people present in your life and those people are always affecting you energetically, well, boundaries will help you to stay in the greater alignment. When you will learn to set boundaries, you will learn to master your empathic abilities. So my friends, if it feels like you're right now in the process of mastering yourself, you're going through a really, really important energy shift of yourself and also of of the way you want to be expressed. You want to express your authentic energy with the world. So this is truly important shift. It is, I I would say it is the hardest shift because most probably we will never fully master it because we don't know what is the the greatest potential of ourselves until we find it. So most probably we are always um, improving our abilities to to sense and to express ourselves and um, the life around us. So if you feel right now you're working on mastering your empathic abilities, it means that you are moving into that fifth dimensional energy. And if you if you are experiencing those ups and downs and mood shifts and here and there you fall off, it's all okay. It's all a part of the process. Just um, don't stay down there. Because the only reason you've fallen down is to find a way to get back up. And when you get back up, 
something will maybe move you off the track so you will you would learn to balance yourself um, strongly and and more compassionately so you would learn to become the greatest friend to yourself to know yourself better to set boundaries to to fall in love with the process and not so much with the results that's where you know uh, a, a quote which i share with you here and there once you fall in love with the process or with the path of life you will stay in love forever because life is a journey right once we understand that we start looking on everything in a completely different way and that's truly amazing so my friends this is it for today i'm sending you all lots of love blessings and power have a beautiful day and don't forget we are running a giveaway on my instagram page i draw my passion you can you can win a free print of the painting love and thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my Etsy shop I draw my passion you're all truly appreciated till next time one love